What is good, you guys? Welcome back to my channel and my podcast. Thank you so much for being here. Let's just get into this video. I don't know what the title is going to be called, but I'm sure you'll see it wherever you're listening from. But I want to talk about something that I see in clients in a lot of conversations that I have. And this is something that I actually was thinking about what I used to do. And I feel like this will definitely help bring it together for those who may not understand where to really put their focus and why we say imagination is the true reality. So let's get into it. And I want to talk about the fact that some people really don't understand that their desires are manifested within them first before it's pushed out because they keep their focus on a specific desire instead of living from the experience. And I've talked about this in another video before on my YouTube channel about living from the experience is really the difference and the key into fulfilling your desires because you are always fulfilled. And when you are looking at a specific thing, a specific desire, most people, they're keeping their focus on their specific desire, such as their SP, a specific amount of money, the house, the car, the job, et cetera. And these things, yes, you want to keep your awareness on them, but looking at a thing keeps you in wanting and in desire and in lack because you have yet to accept the assumption of the wish fulfilled. And What I mean by this is it really puts it outside of you, especially when you're just looking at it like, okay, well, how do I get my SP back? The car, the money, the house, the job, like it all just looks like outside of you, like you're just separate from it. You're already already implying and putting that separation from it. And when you're thinking of it, you're just thinking of how do I get it instead of giving yourself the experience, you guys. And so- Living from the wish fulfilled is intending to experience the fulfillment of that desire. And this is something that you give yourself. And I want to talk about it because I feel like a lot of people think that they're imagining, but really they're visualizing. And this is two different things because visualizing is thinking of a thing. And this comes with a lot of maybes, a lot of conditions. Then let's say that you're looking at your specific person and there's a third party. So you're just looking at the specific person saying, I want to be with my SP. But now you're thinking about, okay, the third party, if the third party moves, then I can have them. Then you're thinking, you're just looking at the situation. You're thinking about the house. Okay, well, okay, well, how do I, if I get money, then I can get the house. Or if I get the money, then these bills will will be paid. And you're thinking about it, but you're not imagining to give yourself the experience. So you're just visualizing. It's a lot of rationalizing that's coming from not having. And what this does is it keeps you in desire, which brings about the separation, which is the possibility that you don't get what you want. And this is like you're observing from outside as if your manifestation is separate or you're separating separate from your desire, which this brings about the believing that there are two minds instead of one. So again, you're conditioning and you're thinking if this moves and all the things, if you're just looking at it instead of giving yourself the experience, imagining that desire, you're just looking at what is and saying, okay, I want this, but then you're keeping yourself outside of it or away from it. And now you're thinking there's a possibility that I may not get what I want by thinking that there's two minds. And if this doesn't move, then I can't have it. If this goes on, then I can't have it. So you're just visualizing, but not immersing yourself in the experience. So imagining is really fulfilling desire and it's living from fulfilled desires. And reality must be believed in. And this is what Frederick E. Dotson says in his book, Parallel Realities. You guys know I love that book. But what I want to talk about is imagining is fulfilling and creating the internal state of being. And a lot of people will say, well, how do I do it when I don't know what it's like to have a million dollars or if I've never been married, etc." And again, you guys, What do the states in temporary forms, what do they imply? They imply who you are, your state of being, and who you are identifying as. So imagining what it would be like 
with the million dollars, the SP, the money, the car, the home, the experiencing it within and immersing yourself as if you're living that experience is implying, yes, I am that. This is my true nature to be in love, to be wealthy beyond measure, for health, for I am that. And the answer is always yes. So my true state of being is fulfillment when I'm giving myself the desires, when I'm immersing myself in what it would be like to be abundant. So it's not just the things, you guys. A lot of us, we think it's the thing that we are trying to manifest or desiring. But what is it implying? It is implying that you are fulfilled. It is a experience that you as the operant power are defining and saying, this is what it would look like for me if I was fulfilled, but you're always fulfilled. You're just wanting something that expresses the fulfillment, right? So again, you guys, you're always fulfilled, no matter what, even if you think you're not, because most people are imagining the opposite. So exactly, when you're imagining with the third party, the arguments, the lack of money, the thoughts and the feelings of not being, not having, you're anticipating the bills not being paid, constantly telling the old story you're imagining or believing in your state of being as lack but you're calling it not fulfilled even though you're getting what you want because you are giving it to yourself remember you're always fulfilled because most people and a lot of you tell me oh well they're doing this with sp that they're doing this with my sp the third party's doing this he's doing this they're going this and he's doing that and the money's this and you know what if i don't have it next week you're imagining what it would be like if the bills weren't paid so you're fulfilling yourself by imagining yourself in that state of lack you're fulfilling your desires when you're anticipating not having your sp the third party doing this, the money not doing this, not being able to experience the home because you're not placing yourself in the wish fulfilled, giving yourself like what it would be like if you were already immersed. So remember, you're experiencing the things within to create the state of being because imagination is the true reality. And when you are giving this to yourself first, then the 3D has no choice but to give you what you give yourself. And you're always fulfilled, you guys. But this is the difference between just desiring a thing, desiring a thing, looking at it and seeing it as it's separate and immersing yourself in the wish fulfilled, the experience of already being that which you desire to be. So it's not necessarily about the thing because most people look at the things and say, okay, this is going to make me happy. How do I get that? How do I get over there in order to be fulfilled? But when you're giving yourself that state of being, that internal state of being and imagining yourself experiencing the home, experiencing your SP, being happy and in love, then you're imagining your true state of being that I am that it is my true nature to have everything that I want. So I am always fulfilled and you're implying that I am that I am. Okay, so it's about really imagining in your state of being and the stories come from that, you guys, okay? So a lot of you are still just desiring and desiring is coming from that lack, just looking at a thing, observing it, looking at it outside of you, okay, and how do I get there? Instead of immersing yourself in that experience of I already have, I'm always fulfilled and giving it to yourself within yourself, imagining yourself to be the way that you want yourself to be and others and all. And so it's really about that. You're imagining to give yourself your desires to fulfill your own desires. Of course, you're always fulfilled, no matter if you're imagining the not having or imagining I do have you're always fulfilled and it's going to push out that way so I want you guys to know that a lot of you are always <laughs> imagining something whether you're imagining the fulfilled state or not but most of you are just observing something outside of you by visualizing and conditioning and thinking okay well all these things are in the way so how do I move those things out the way how do I become this how do I become that and you're just observing looking from lack 
Okay, just keeping yourself in desiring, but never fully bringing it to the now and immersing yourself in that experience. This is the difference, you guys. I want you to understand that you will bend time and space in your favor when you immerse yourself in the, that experience of fulfilling your desires, knowing and claiming that you are fulfilled. And at that point, it's not like you're going to need the things because you're giving yourself the experience of being fulfilled and you're understanding that fulfillment doesn't come from forms that change from things themselves. It comes from you that you're giving it to yourself, that it's your natural state of being. So you're imagining these things to awaken your true self, to realize and to reveal your true self. Okay. So that's what this really is, you guys. We, we're always looking at things and forms and putting all of our stock into that, that if I get that, then I'll be fulfilled. If I figure out how to maneuver this, then I'll be fulfilled. But you're always fulfilling yourself, you guys. You're always fulfilling yourself no matter if you think that you are or you're not, you are. But where are you placing your awareness on a thing that's going to make you happy or within yourself knowing that it is your I am? that is the fulfillment that comes with all your desires already so you're fulfilling yourself and the world has no choice but to mirror that back to you okay so i want you guys to understand this it get, getting yourself out of lack into fulfill into fulfillment fulfilling your own desires and yes you guys imagination is completely on your side in this way it really truly is it can be no other way and I hope that this video really assisted you in really moving yourself over from I don't have and observing, looking at a thing to really immersing yourself what it would be like if you had that car was driving it around. What does that imply? That implies that I am fulfilled. And what behind that again, what does that imply? That I am. That I am. OK, same with your SP and the money and all that it implies that you are that you are the source, not the thing itself. And so I want you guys to understand that this is a little a little tiny little little shift in perspective, because a lot of these are so sneaky where we're placing our awareness. And I want you guys to understand that it's not necessarily about the things, but it is about who you are realizing that it's all you. And the stock is in that, is in I am and in not the thing. But you're giving yourself these experiences to remember and to reveal your true nature. All right. So this was just a quick little video for this week to start off because I really felt like this was something that I see in a lot of clients and most people, they're not fulfilling their desires in the way that they prefer, but you are being fulfilled. You're just fulfilling yourself in the opposite way of not having your desires because so many people imagine their SP with the third parties, what they're doing and telling the old stories and really immersing themselves in that experience that is imagining in the state of lack, the state of not feeling fulfilled, even though it is fulfillment, all right? So I want you to see that you're always fulfilled no matter what you choose to perceive. So who are you being? That's the only thing that you need to know. And from that, what experience would you like to have to show the fulfillment that you are? All right. So I'm going to leave this video here for you. I hope that you guys have the most amazing week ever. If you would like a phone or email session with me, get down in the description box below and book a session with me. I love to chit chat with you. Don't forget to join the discord for free and don't forget to download my freebies as well. And yeah, you guys, imagination is on your side and I am too. Bye.